I have introduced the American Families Plan tonight, which addresses four of the biggest challenges facing American families and in turn America. President Biden making it official tonight, unveiling his $1.8 trillion plan, increasing money for preschools, child care, and community colleges across the nation. But tonight, we want to focus on the local impact. Indiana's Head Start program shares with us how this money could help young Hoosiers. Ivy Tech is going to explain why this plan may not exactly meet its needs, and we're also going to look into how the president plans to pay for it all. There are roughly 17,000 children in Head Start programs across Indiana, but advocates say that number should be more. Excuse me, we're only serving three out of the 10 families that qualify for Head Start in Indiana. Red Cecil is director of Indiana's Head Start Association, an advocacy nonprofit that I know our programs can continue to grow. He says part of the problem is people just don't know Head Start programs are available, but part of it is also due to funding. So the president's announcement Wednesday night. My fellow Americans. It's potentially game changing news. Well, we're excited to see the expansion, uh, possible expansion of Head Start, and early Head Start services and programs in the state of Indiana. President Biden's American Family Plan calls for a $200 billion investment for universal preschool and could lead to an expansion of Head Start programs, which currently offer free early childhood education. But also come with strict income requirements. If we have an opportunity to work in partnership with our early childhood education providers and the ecosystem here in Indiana uh, to expand Head Start and early Head Start services uh, for Hoosiers across the state, that's great. According to the Biden administration, the plan would save the average American family $13,000 a year when fully implemented. Now, the president's plan includes another $225 billion for subsidized child care and $109 billion to let people attend community college tuition free for two years. Our Rich Van White continues our team coverage tonight with what Ivy Tech says is really needed to help its students. Mason Springman is an Ivy Tech student working a real job while he works toward a degree in advanced automation and robotics. It's stressful at times, a little overwhelming. And getting free tuition would be huge. Ivy Tech Community College President Sue Elsperman. The president is on to something that's very important for a successful economy and for Hoosiers to have economic prosperity. About half of Ivy Tech students graduate ready to move into skilled, higher paying jobs. But it may be the welder, it may be the software development uh, engineer. Uh, it may be the cybersecurity professional. The other half complete their educations at a four year university. A large percentage of students already receive federal and state grants and pay no tuition. What would really help is if any new money came with new rules to help moderate income students who don't qualify for existing financial aid programs. Many parents who get caught in that they make too much to qualify, but they really can't afford to have two or three kids in college at the same time. Ivy Tech student Anthony Woods sees free tuition as an investment. An educated society is a, a better society for everyone. Everyone will be watching a likely costly political battle over free educations. So just how is the president planning to pay for all of this? Let's break it down by the numbers. Basically, we're looking at a series of tax increases on the wealthy to raise about $1.5 billion over 10 years. This will only impact households making more than $400,000 a year. That's the top 1.8% of American taxpayers. President Biden is also considering increasing IRS audits on the wealthier taxpayers as well and changing how financial institutions report their earnings. The White House says those two changes could raise $700 billion over 10 years.